Welcome back to Where's Wiseman. Matt and Emily here. And in this video, we're camping on an island in the Puget Sound. We hopped on a ferry to take us over to Whidbey Island, which is one of many islands in the Puget Sound. On this trip, we'll be camping at Fort Eby State Park on the western shore of the island. Another well-known area on the north end of Whidbey is Deception Pass, and we've camped there as well. We stopped for lunch in the small town of Coopville before making our way to the campground. Coopville was settled in the 1850s by farmers and sea captains who built the historic wharf. We passed by the Alexander Blockhouse, which is one of the four blockhouses remaining in central Whidbey Island. These structures were built during the mid-1850s and were used primarily as a fortification for settlers. However, over time, their use shifted to storage and outbuildings for farming. makes things easy. <laughs> this is a fun little site. Yeah. I knew it was a smaller campground, but this is cozy. This, the spots are close, but they're all pretty private for how close together they are. Uh, boy, and lots of good wind block too. Yeah, it's yeah. a really windy day. Yeah, supposed to get showers this afternoon. Uh, who knows, the weather's been so back and forth already today. Looks like we can walk a few steps to uh, the coast too, so we have a lot of room on this spot. I think we're just going to back the galley up to the rocks here, slumberjack over the back so we have our favorite galley tarp set up. Definitely think we're going to get rain, we just don't know how much. We won't even need to unhook. Love it. It took us about two minutes to get camp set up. Uh, so that's done. We had a quick snack and now we're going to go hit the beach. There's a trail right in our campsite. So we're going to go follow that and see if we can get to the water. What's poison ivy look like? What? There's poison ivy? No, there's not. Fort Eby was originally built as a coastal defense fort during World War II. The state park stands on the site of Battery 248, which had two six-inch guns in place during the war and guarded the western approach to Admiralty Inlet. As the war progressed, it became clear that enemy vessels were unlikely to threaten Puget Sound, and Fort Eby's active duty lifespan was less than a decade. The guns were removed and scrapped in 1948, and concrete platforms mark their locations today. 
We walked down on the bluff to see the Battery Commander station as well, which was pretty cool. In addition to the campground, there are miles of walking and biking trails along the bluffs providing panoramic views of the Puget Sound and the Olympic Mountains. Crazy wind! Cold wind! <laughs> when we uh, took our trip to Victoria, Canada and we took the high-speed ferry, it actually runs through this shipping lane right here. And Canada, Victoria basically, is straight out that way. Well, that was super cool, unexpected. Beautiful. I wish we could stay down there longer, but the wind is I brutal. I can't feel my ears. It's so yeah. cold with that wind. Oh, man. This is a really cool spot. This is much more than we thought would be out here. The battery is huge. Yeah. And the views are just beautiful. Hopefully, we can catch a sunset tonight. Looks uh, promising. Yeah. Clouds are breaking up, but the wind is not... Let me see we get back and uh, warm up. Time for a fire. Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we are in search of the bathrooms. I think we have found them. So one thing I haven't seen yet since we've been here, two things actually, bear and cougar warning signs. <laughs> there are none of those here. <laughs> That makes True. me very happy. <laughs> well, we've wanted a paper towel holder for some time and we wanted to mount it up on the uh, galley door. Just haven't found one we liked yet, but I remembered I have these suction cups that I haven't even used yet. I saw somebody, oh, we saw them, uh, Man, what was the name of that company? We, uh, we saw them at the uh, Overland Showdown in Florida on YouTube, but they had something similar that looked even better. But uh, we, could, we can move this, take it off whenever we want, but it'll also stay here. We just pull them off, put them back up, press down, and that puppy's not gonna move. How long is that going to stay lit? About four seconds. <laughs> Gosh dang it. So we have a special camp cocktails tonight. Not an actual cocktail, but uh, a local whiskey from a distillery out here on Whidbey Island, Coltus Bay. 
Kathy, the owner, gave us a really great tour today of what she's been doing, her whole story. It was amazing. And their vodka, gin, and whiskeys are top notch. A little diamond in the rough out here. So we will share a little bit more about that while we break this guy open. Uh, I'm Kathy Parks. I, I'm the owner, and I've done, I've made everything here. And I'm 81. I'm the oldest woman distiller in the United States. That is amazing. We're with a legend. Yes. <laughs> you know, Pete. Mm -hmm. Okay. Digging it out of the ground. And then, Digging yeah. it out of the ground. This is not peat moss. This is soil. It's yeah. compressed and it's almost on its way to being coal. Mm. In Ireland and Scotland, they actually build houses with peat. They use it for heat and they use it for cooking. So that's, that's the fermentation process. Having a good fermentation is really key to having a good product. Cheers. <laughs> Definitely scotch, or what, well she can't call it scotch, right? What is she calling it scotch and inspired? The style American of scotch or something like that? single malt whiskey, yeah. That's how we say scotch when we make it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we can't call it. I know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't see rain clouds clouds here and there but wow we got mm -hmm. lucky lucky again so far knock on firewood firewood <laughs> just working on a uh, first dinner here oh I already blew them up well this is first dinner what's second and third dinner uh well I don't know what order you want them in but we have ribeye and seafood chowder <laughs> so you let me know. Pretty excited for that seafood <laughs> chatter. It's really good. We are in the right spot for that. Yes. Well, the sun's gone down and this wind has a bite. We did not expect it to be this cold. And I think it's mainly the wind chill, which is under the 40s now. I think it's wind chill's like 35, 38. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hook up the heater real quick, get it ready for later. It takes like two seconds. You can see Port Angeles over there with the houses that kind of go up the hill and then the, um, the mountains there, Olympic National Park. Well, up early this morning, get an early start so we can get back. We got a boat to catch. Got a boat to catch. <laughs> we got really lucky with the weather though. 
saw stars all night. It never rained. I am yeah. so shocked and pleasantly surprised. It did not rain on us. We didn't have to set up any canopies or anything. Yeah. It was great. And only got down to 42. So we didn't really need the heater, but we left it on. It was pretty darn amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Camp is basically already packed up. It was very easy. <laughs> we had yeah. super minimal gear that we really used. So that's all packed up and ready to go. We just wanted to come out here one last time and take a quick look at the water before we... Uh, Went back to reality. This is a great little state park. I would definitely come back here. Definitely. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you in our next video.